Skyshell 033. Subject. Candle Cove Local Kid Show? Does anybody remember this kid show? It was called Candle Cove, and I must have been around 6 or 7 when it first aired. I, I never found reference to it anywhere, so I think it was on a local station around 1971 or 1972. I lived in Ireton at the time. I, I don't remember which station, but I do remember it was on at a weird time, like 4pm. Mike Painter, 65. Subject. Re Candle Cove. Local kids show. It seems really familiar to me. I grew up outside of Ashland and was nine years old in 72. Candle Cove. Was it about pirates? I remember a pirate marionette at the mouth of a cave talking to a little girl. Skyshale 033. Yes! Okay, I'm not crazy. I, I remember Pirate Percy. I was always kind of scared of him. He looked like he was built from parts of other dolls, real low budget. His head was an, an, was an old porcelain baby doll, looked like an antique that didn't belong on the body. I, I don't remember which station this was, I, I don't think it was WTSF though. Jaren underscore 2005. Subject. Reply. Candle Cove Local Kids Show? Sorry to resurrect this old thread, but I know exactly what show you mean, Sky Shield. I think Candle Cove only ran for a couple months in 71, not 72. I was 12, and I watched it a few times with my brother. It was Channel 58, whatever station that was. My mom would let me switch to it after the news. Let me see what I can remember. It took place in Candle Cove, and it was about a little girl who imagined herself to be friends with pirates. The pirate ship was called a laughing stock, and Pirate Percy wasn't a very good pirate because he got scared too easily. And there was colope music constantly playing. Don't remember the girl's name. Janice, or Jade, or something. I think it was Janice. Skyshell 033. Thank you, Jaren! Memories flooded back when you mentioned the laughing stock in Channel 58. I remember the bow of the ship was a wooden smiling face with the lower jaw submerged. It looked like it was swallowing the sea and it had that awful Edwin voice and laugh. I especially remembering how jarring it was when they switched from the wooden plastic model to the foam puppet version of the head that talked. Mike Painter, 65. Subject. Re Candle Cove. Local kids show. <laughs> I remember now too. Do you remember this part, Sky's Hail? You have to go inside. Skyshell 033. Ugh, oh, Mike, I got a chill reading that. Uh, yes, I remember. That's what the ship always told Percy when there was a spooky place he had to go in, like a cave or a dark room where the treasure was at. And the camera would push in on the laughing stock's face with each pause. You have to go inside. With his two eyes askew and that flopping foam jaw and that fishing line that opened and closed it. Ugh! Just looks so cheap and awful. You guys remember the villain? He had a face that was just a handlebar mustache above really tall, narrow teeth. Kevin underscore heart. Subject, Candle Cove, local kids show. I honestly, honestly, thought the villain was Pirate Percy. I was about five when the show was on. Nightmare fuel. Jaren underscore 2005. Th that wasn't a villain. The puppet with the mustache? That was the villain's sidekick, Horace Horrible. He had a monocle too, but it was on top of the mustache. I used to think that it meant he only had one eye, but yeah, the villain was another marionette. The skin taker. I can't believe what they let us watch back then. Gavin underscore heart. Subject, Candle Cove, local kids show. Jesus H. Christ, the skin taker. What kind of kid show are we watching? I seriously could not look at the screen when the skin taker showed up. He just descended out of nowhere on his strings. Just a dirty skeleton wearing that brown top hat and cape. And his last eyes that were too big for his skull. Christ almighty. 
Skyshale033. Wasn't his top hat and cloak all sewn up crazily? Was that supposed to be children's skin? Mike Painter, 65. Subject, Recandle Cove, local kids show. Yeah, I think so. Remember his mouth didn't open and close. His jaw just slid back and forth. I remember the little girl said, Why does your mouth move like that? And the skin taker didn't look at the girl, but at the camera, and said, To grind your skin. Skyshell 033 Ugh, I'm so relieved that other people remember this terrible show. I used to have this awful memory, a bad dream that I had when the opening jingle ended. The show faded in from black and all the characters were there, but the camera would just cut into each of their faces and they were just... screaming. And the puppets and marionettes were flailing spastically and all just screaming and screaming. The girl was just moaning and crying like she had been through hours of that. I woke up many times for that nightmare. Hell, I even used to wet the bed when I had it. I... I don't think that was a dream. I remember that. I remember that was an episode. Skyshell 033 No, 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 not possible. There was no plot or anything. I, I mean, literally, just standing in place crying and screaming for the whole show. Maybe I'm just manufacturing the memory because he said that, but... I swear to God, I remember seeing what you described. They just screamed. Jaren underscore 2005 Oh God, y yes, the little girl Janice. I remember seeing her shake and, and the skin taker screaming through his gashing teeth, his jaw creening so wildly, I thought it would come off its wire hinges. I, I turned it off and that was the last time I watched. I ran to tell my brother and we didn't have the courage to turn it back on. Mike Painter, 65, subject, Recandle Cove, local kids show. I visited my mum, today at the nursing home. I asked her about when I was little in the early 70s, when I was 8 or 9, and if she remembered a kids show, Candle Cove. She said she was surprised I could even remember that, and I asked why, and she said, because I used to think it was so strange that you said, I'm gonna go watch Candle Cove now, Mum. And then you would tune the TV to static and just watch Dead Air for 30 minutes. You had a big imagination with your little pirate show.